give the doses. Uh, can anybody say? Usually we give in uh, powders, isn't it? Form and the doses, even in the doses are only in the powders. But are there any other methods? Because uh, Honeyman has used doses in the fourth edition. So after that, there have been two more editions. Also, the last edition of chronic disease has also come. But he has given so many other new methods of <laughs> Am I audible? Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Clear. So let us see what the animal has given it. He sat with the attributes. My spiritual guru who has been guiding it is Vedatri Magarishi. Of course, our immortal master, Animan, and our mentor. Dr. Vijayakar, I say my sincere thanks for my conscientious practice, guiding him for the last 15 years. Of course, my homeopathic mentor is my uncle, Dr. Murugan, MBBS. I have been practicing homeopathy for the last 30 years and he is the one who guided to his science. Of course, they are my seniors and friends who have been uh, assist, uh, helping me in my life to come out of crisis. Of course, you all know, is my mentor and friend, Dr. Chambaradi and Dr. Winston. Thanks to everybody who has been giving it a opportunity to stress on this. Though modern science says, these are advanced times, when they're delivering drugs, they are very crude. We have gone ahead of them. Now they are coming with a pharmacogenomics, the novel concept which has been invented, uh, uh, conventional medicine is called as pharmacogenomics. A study of how genes affect the person's response to relatively fixed uh, medicine and so they are combining with the dosage with the gene, genetic medications instead of giving a crude one. It's especially they have developed it as a safe medication and doses. It will be a tailored mode to persons. Uh. <laughs> Uh, you are muted, are you, sir? It's uh, individualistic and uh, uh, to person to person the uh, dosages. Only system which has a wide range of potencies for a particular drug. Starting from 1 x to 0 by 30. If you calculate, it will be almost uh, a single drug will have 40 to 50 variety of dosages. The potency of choice will be different criteria. Why Honeyman has chose to do such a varieties? The so basic is he wanted to be rapid as well as very gentle. Because when he started uh, his potencies with the crude, he was getting a wide, uh, uh, what do you call as, uh, unwanted uh, aggravations the patient should not suffer so he wanted to reduce the doses so power of the doses that is why he went on going for diluting diluting and then went it to succession and then by the way was dynamized the doses then initially he started provings with the crude doses then diluted doses then potentized so to understand about this drug delivery system, we have to go with the how Honeyman has uh, uh, 
evolved from first edition to the fifth, sixth edition. Only by seeing the timeline will understand how he slowly, slowly reduces the dose by along with that increasing the potencies. Always he has gone up in potencies in search of reducing the reactionary power of the vital force. The secondary action of drug is with stimulus, it should be very minute as possible so that the individual aggravation will be very minimal. So the aphorism two, he says, the highest ideal of cure is rapid, gentle, and permanent restoration. So the first thing which was wanted is the cure should be fast. The same way it should be gentle because the, our con our uh, uh, modern medicine people, whatever they give us, mostly a crude one, and they are giving it very much aggravation and harm to the patients. So again, in the aphorism two, he says every perceptible progression and strikingly increasing amelioration during the treatment is the condition. As long as it's large, completely produces, includes every repetition of medicine. Here, Honeyman says about the repetition. When there is an increasing amelioration, we have to stop the repetition. Also, slowly progressive improvement and gives health the remedy in such case, we can cure it by 40 to 50 days. The, given the duration of curing the time period also Honeyman gives. But, rare, but it is in practice, we find it, it is very rare. We are not able to give. But still, Honeyman says the period should be still more reduced to one half or one quarter of 40 days. So Honeyman hardly gives about 10 to 12 days in a chronic case to give you a cure. But uh, how is it possible and how we have to accomplish, we have to see. The often repeated observations have taught only is that the, how it should be used. First is the medicine should be selected with the utmost care. So it should be the perfect simulimum. And second is it should be highly potentized and dissolved in water. And it should be in a proper small dose. That has experience has taught that most suitable definite interval and it should be accomplished the cure. So everything is given in the organon and from the Honeyman's words. The first, second, and third organon represents the traditional years of homeopathic healing art. Here, Paniman establishes only about individualization, similia similibus, the single remedy, and the minimum dose, and then the dynamic potencies. Then he also fourth, fifth, and sixth edition. Here, the real development of homeopathy comes. It will be almost 14 years where and even fine tunes the uh, those, those delivery systems and uh, uh, taking the honey, uh, homeopathy to the next level. The, until the sixth edition, he brings out the fine tuned one. Manova, sir. Manova, sir. Hello, Dr. Manova. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The file is getting stuck here. Uh, not able. Slide is not start. moving. We restart, sir. Uh -huh. You can restart. We we'll just see the life uh, evolution of Honeyman so that we can understand how the system also have evolved. Honeyman uh, born in 1755 and 1755 to 59 was maybe the year is wrong. And the medical studies and the 80 he started his practice. 83 he was working as a chemist 
and uh, with the orthodox medicine. 85, he became the medical officer in Dresden. Slide is, is uh, visible. Hello? It's not visible. It is visible. It is visible. Okay. okay. The eight, 1790 first proved uh, from the Collins Metra Medica and 92 he was a doctor in the start the PPT. Uh, PPT? Uh, it's not, it is slide it's is not. not, not visible. Sir, it's 1790 or 1890? Uh, Apothecaries of lexicon. This is the first uh, he writes about now modern pharmacopoeia, which modern medicine uses, follows by this lexicon. And 1796, he first writes about the principles of new cure, about the stimulus. So here first he comes with the single remedy. 1797. Then, but initially Hanuman says about repeat only when there is an action ceases. Then 1798, he gives a minimum dose, that is first uh, 1000 of uh, stromonium. Then 1801, the treatment for prophylactic treatment, he gives. Is the slide is changing for you all? No. Yes, sir. Change. Slide is changing. In 1805, first Animan writes about the medic uh, the medicine of experience and Fragmenta de Verbis. That is the first book which he has written. And uh, 1806 will be the poisons. What are poisons? Initially, Animan recommends uh, arsenicum 30C, which is effective. And 1811 to 12, the first edition of Metal Medica Pura comes. And 1817, the Metal Medica Pura, he Discusses about mineral miasms. And second edition comes in 1819. Here he states about similimum individualization and suppression, which is the cause for other diseases, especially each miasm. Swara, he says. And Hanuman was thrown out of Lisbeck and uh, in 1821. And 1829, he writes about the organon third edition of Arganon, where he compiles the Swara and the other chronic miasms. The 1810 to 1817, where Hanuman was treating all these acute uh, episodes of all acute miasms, current uh, epidemics and other things, and acute diseases also. Here, the animal 1816 to 17 says about venereal miasms, especially in chronic diseases, venereal miasmatic chronic diseases. Uh, 16 to 19, Hanuman gives the history of all these venereal miasma symptoms. And 1818 is the great sulfur was introduced in the Metamedica Pura. The slide is changing, but in my uh, phone it is not uh, showing you. Changing, sir. Hello, Hello changing, sir. Up to sulfur, it's there. 
So all these uh, later editions of uh, Hanuman work has been published as the Hanuman's case books in German. It is there in the history of medicine in Geneva, I think so. So all these books uh, research work has been done by uh, the two. Uh, in search of later Hanuman by um, there's a book called In Search of Letter Hanuman. Uh, I forgot the author name. Rima Hadley. The idea about how Han ah, Rima Hadley. Thank Rima Hadley. Yes. Rima Hadley. Yeah, there's a very good book where these two have worked. Yes. Directly with the Honeyman's case books, how Honeyman has used different cases, how they have approached, all these things have been there. They have done a research work and that comes out with these details about these potencies. Here why we are seeing about how these books and other things means how everywhere Honeyman goes one step higher from earlier. So 1828 to 30 Honeyman introduces Sora as well as in details about anti-historic medicines and 1829 the fourth edition of Arganan comes. Here the Hanuman gives about single dose white and watch method and introduces vital force, vital force, vital power and vital energy. The, this is the method which now use possess and wait and watch method. And 1832 uh, and even it's about the potency is the 30C because in between what happened, Jenickson and other some Germans and Europe uh, doctors have made the uh, Pasak of psychosis, this and so many other potencies of higher potencies. So people started, many practitioners started using different, different uh, method of uh, potentization, other things. So Hanuman limited everybody to use only to 30C. So he has not advised any of the higher potencies like they came up with the MM, CM, CMM, so many other things. So we didn't want to we get diluted. So he advised everybody to limit to 30C. Then the 1833, Animan uh, releases the fifth edition of Valkana and 35 the chronic disease, which comes in two parts, 37 and 39, 1837 and 39. So they came into two parts, chronic diseases which 1833, 35, 37, 39, all this comes with the fifth edition. So it is a combined one. So all this fifth edition is not given only in the fifth edition. Even the chronic diseases, Hanuman advises many other methodology. The second edition of Morning, Morning Asin's repertory also came in 1833. And the other one, systematic alphabetical other repertory also. So, in 1838, Hanuman gives about three new methods. One is he reduces the dose to one or two poppy seed. Now we use no three pills, four pills and all. But Hanuman strictly says it, the dose should be one poppy seed. Poppy seed means it is 10 size globule, only one dose. Occasionally he use, advises you use two doses. The dose should be very low. Even if it excess, it produces unwanted reactions in the secondary reactions. And Animan introduces a new way of olfaction, especially in acute intermittents, especially in chronics, with when they come up with acute episodes of any other illnesses. So he doesn't want to disturb by the earlier dose. So Animan now gives any acutes in the olfaction. 
then one or two pellets dissolved in water uh, that is also 100 ml of water and then split doses so these are the three ways of honeyman advises the dose to be given in the chronic disease so here fourth edition honeyman says about the exact it should be the size of the dose should be as possible as poppy seed a single seed and also the uh, when there is an improvement is there don't uh, disturb it we should wait and watch repetition is forbidden and as long as there is an improvement which this is the one which we commonly practice and use it now though we honeyman has given other modes of uh, uh, delivering doses but this is the majority of the doctors we use it but it is only in the fourth edition fifth and sixth we are not using it so the fourth edition if you see remedy repetition is given in two uh, single dose first it should be a test dose that is in given in the 292 then observe for the improvement 293 and 294 watch for improvement when there is a standstill either retake the case or if the symptoms appear go for the new remedy if the old symptoms relapse again repeat the medicine it should be like one dry dose one pill in the tongue sensitive patient you can give all fraction so this is a new method honeyman introduces all fraction almost for the in between two three years no honeyman 18 32 and 33 for two years honeyman given only all fraction for all the patients he has not given any other thing so in the fourth edition again 284 and 86 he newly introduces the one pill should be dissolved in a spoonful of water and then give two spoons this is a new method honeyman introduces in the fourth edition so here honeyman advises 1833 was careful repetition after same remedy in chronic diseases honeyman gives the caution of giving too many pills it should be standard dry dose single pill but though fourth edition honeyman has given liquid dose but he has not advised but it is only for the sensitive persons so again the same thing when repetition is unwanted until unless the case comes to standstill the fifth edition honeyman says about the middle part this middle part i think you would have had some short notes in our college practice what is middle part the middle path means the medicine should be car selected carefully and it should be minute and it should be best repeated when there is a suitable improvement and even now changes you should repeat it with the observation only in the conditions ever <coughs> so here we wait and watch method is changed to repetition So here he gives about clear understanding about the size of the dose. It should be a single 10 size poppy seed. The delivery system, how it should be, the choice of potency. All these things should be based on the physical constitution, that is predisposition, sensitivity, and vitality. The nature and stage of disease. This is also Hanuman gives. There are some of the mentioning all everything has been taken from the Agnan chronic diseases. I have not given, if it is from Agnan, we have not given about the details about where it is been given. In aphorism 247, this is our fifth edition. Repetition of remedies in acute and chronic disease, Hanuman explains about repetition, when to repeat. Under these conditions, the smaller dose, the best selected homeopathic may be medicine, may be repeated, best often with incredible results at the interval of 14, 12, 10, 8, 7 days. Wherever rapidity is required and in chronic diseases, Resembling the case in acute disease. Acute disease, it should be very short period. Every 24 hours, 
or two hours, eight hours, or four hours, and even every hour if the disease is very rapid. So this is the way Honeyman gives about. Like uh, the we make it standard weekly dose here, but he has given days. It, it can be seven, it can be eight, it can be ten, and it can be twelve. So uh, like after first dose, you wait for the symptoms to reappear. It will have a pattern of reappearing. It will be some person, it will be on the seventh day, some person will be on tenth day, some will be on twelfth day, or some will be on fourteenth day. So after seeing for two or three day repetition, this is the dosage time we require. So we have to repeat. If you find the person to get the reappearance of symptom on tenth day, repeat the dose in every tenth day. So this is how Honeyman explains. The same way in acutes also. It should be like every Four hourly, four hourly, six hourly, when there is a symptom reappearing. So Hanuman uh, has been uh, Hanuman lost his uh, wife in 1830, and uh, Melanie comes into his life. Melanie comes for treatment in 1834. And 1835, they get uh, married. And 35, Honeyman uh, leaves to December. He leaves to Paris. I think so. December. So he reaches uh, Paris by June. And as soon as he goes there with the help of some uh, practitioners, he has a right to practice. From there, this Honeyman's German case books. And uh, all other things have been seen. In 1833 to 1835, Animan uses dry doses and olfaction. But olfaction here, whenever there is a, uh, uh, when they come with an, uh, any acute uh, problem, suppose he has given a chronic dose, and after two, three months, when they come with any other acute complaint, that time he uses a new remedy or the same remedy in all faction. Is it clear? Hello? Hi, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Very difficult to talk to the doctor. Yes, okay. I am going first. Or it is a little slow. And 1833 and 34 is the year, two years, Honeyman has used only olfaction to all the patients. So this is some, he wanted to try a new method. Uh, he has little signs about olfaction, how it works. So it is uh, one of the fastest method of using the homeopathic medicines. Uh, we have been using it in successfully in our practice, especially in acute colics, asthmatic bronchitis, when they come with severe renal colic or the uh, gallstone colic or anything. So the olfactory bulb has a uh, fibers to forehead, pituitary, posterior and uh, anterior fossa and all other uh, memory area. So that's how it uh, reaches pass to the other systems. So that the olfaction works so well, especially in acutes. Uh, 1836, Hanuman writes about, um, wrote a letter about, uh, letter about uh, the new method of solution, that is LM potencies to herring. Earlier also he has written to Boni Asan. Hmm? This is the letter which Hanuman says, I would like to communicate to you first. Now my medicines are powerful. I dissolve seldom more than one globule. In, uh, it depends upon 7, 15, 20 or 30 spoons full of water. Direct spring or mineral water, uh, river water. As a preservative, they add about a uh, few drops of wine. That is one... 15th or 120th part of wine. Suppose if you take uh, 100 ml, one tablespoon is about uh, uh, 15 ml. Hmm? So 450 ml, they add about uh, 
10 to 15 ml of wine or charcoals as a preservative because we when we give it no in the water if they keep it outside the water get uh, polluted and so one tablespoon can be given in every day or every other day so it is about uh, 100 ml to 450 ml the water taking for the single dose also depends upon the sensitivity if the person is very sensitive go for the larger amount of water if the patient is less sensitive take only 100 ml so 100 ml to 450 it depends upon the sensitivity add 7 to 15 ml of alcohol for preservation though honeyman says six suckers at five or six times and from there you can take one tablespoon or depending one one two or three teaspoons here the tablespoon means 15 ml or teaspoon means 5 ml here also like uh, one teaspoon two teaspoon three teaspoon all depends upon the sensitivity initially handman says about every day or every alternate days the dosage will be like that The technical part of uh, chronic disease is called as the fifth edition of Valguna. And even uh, uh, chronic diseases uh, in 1837, he released it. That is supplemented by the uh, fifth edition of Valguna. No, it supplements to the fifth edition of Valguna. Sorry. So here, Honeyman says about using about medicinal solutions. But 1830 to 21 itself, Honeyman started succussing it. But different succussions and dynamization have been used only in the chronic diseases. He has explained about it. That is in the 1838 fifth volume of chronic disease, Honeyman explains about dilutions and potencies. So initially, Honeyman says about succussion in different uh, uh, Succussion 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, and more. It, it, it also depends upon the sensitivity. The every succussion improves the uh, homeopathic uh, delivery system. So, Honeyman here. So, one or two pill is dissolved in a 7 to 40 tablespoon. So one tablespoon means 15 ml, that is amounts about 100 to 600 ml and one teaspoon of alcohol. The other one is under 120 ml of water, one or two pills are all two drops of, this one is dissolved. And then if it is a suck, uh, more, the increase the water, if there is a sensitivity of individual is higher. So Honeyman initially says about five to six succession. The succession is depends upon the sensitivity. Less sensitive, more succession. High sensitive means less succession. That is 1 to 12 is the ratio. So different drops method and different methods are using. In the gist I will give you in the end. So this is about how Honeyman has explained about different uh, dosages and different solutions which we are going to see. This is about how the preparation of LM potencies and Honeyman explains about uh, the sparenic sedition of chronic disease explained about the external application. <coughs> also dry do uh, supplement doses like you give it oral as well as uh, external application and Honeyman here says about like uh, drop doses suppose one pill is diluted in the 30 ml of water and then succus it every two sen, two to 12 succession in the next next level so next comes the sixth edition so all this 
succussion and dilution process and even as a wanted to avoid aggravation the cure should be as gentle as possible and preventing aggravation so hanuman gives the four guideline first is the choice should be the remedy should be simply mum and it should be administered properly and it that should be prepared properly the remedy given solution should be smallest possible dose and only one poppy seed is allowed the succussion also it should be 1 to 12 and whenever it is required but in the end of uh, fifth edition that is in the sixth edition or fifth edition 270 foot road animal standard is is the succussion because as people get succussed very times animal given a caution it is only two succussion this is the last sixth edition animal the footnote he gives about succussion final uh, verdict so we need not get confused with uh, so many succussions animal clearly says it is only two succussion is enough you repeat the dose like 1 2 3 4 5 or first week second week third week like that this is in the about the elam potencies in aphorism 246 and 48 animal days about daily dose or alternate days this is the first two potency two ways of uh, repeating the dose he explained this is only about elam potency see elam potency also we use it in dry doses many of us dry doses but anyone has explained dry doses only for the centesimal and the expotencies when you come to the 200 and other thing anyman fifth edition as well as in the chronic diseases changed to two solutions and in the sixth edition anyman explains only about elam potencies but all you see you can see with the my newly improved potencies he mentions the organon it means that it is only the elam potency he mentions the well chosen homeopathic medicine should be given daily even for months he gives a caution if necessary even the elam potency when there is an improvement we should repeat only if it is necessary not necessarily we should repeat every day so first initially what we do we give a test dose find out in the how many days once he gets the symptom again suppose person gets in sixth day or person gets in 14th day after the dose he is better and if he gets the symptoms again repeat it every sixth day like that we have to find out and every 14th day like that we have to repeat it on the 14th day even if it is a elam potency the lowest degree first should be used and then proceed to the highest degree lm also like if you start with 01 the sixth day patient gets the reappearance of symptom just succus two time repeat it and then again on the sixth day repeat it on fourth succession again repeat it on sixth succession like that we'll have to go higher and higher when it reaches 100 and then change to 01 to 02 is it clear so this is the gist of it how we are going to use it in the practice which hanuman has given it is it uh, maniman has not left dry doses suppose if you see in the case books of paris almost 70 to 80% of dosages have been given in dry doses other acute c has given all faction and sensitive individuals he has given lm all faction and lm in dilutions I mean solutions so this is in my experience i have used cases of this sort dry doses we use it pathological cases or deep pathology cases or when the drug deep acting drugs when we give as a gcs all faction we use it frequently in acute fevers a colic or acute exaggeration of asthma drop doses that is at the one draw one pill in 30 ml with few drops of alcohol and patient has to be taken when there is a sensitivity is less 
in psychotic cases when the patient is very lazy to carry a big bottle we give it in a 30 ml 100 ml is when there is a sensitivity is higher soro syphilitic fevers usually fevers we give it when there is a frequent repetition is needed the external application also hanuman has advised so where we have used neuro ectodem cases coma cases suppose we give spike doses like one oral and external like one dose we give it with the start and then the external to be followed in case especially the neuro ectodem cases so this is about general in gist we have used our different types of prescriptions and dosages is it uh, clear or anyone have some doubts or anything then we'll see some cases i have selected cases of different methods of administering normal dose i have in it selected i have just selected one or two cases to show you different ways of uh, administering the medicine yes, sir hello sir yes sir yes sir is there any yes, anything uh, no no is no it clear I... or have... right sir very clear right. sir hmm It is very Any doubts? If it is very difficult to do with the uh, uh, computer, sir, we will be as if we will be talking to the computer. No response, no eye contact. Initially, it will be difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, sir, send the chat box. No, they can raise in the chat, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a question in the chat box, sir. Uh, one question, sir. Please. Yeah. Sir, is pressing those? Same as drop dose. Yeah, pressing dose as drop dose. Same as drop dose. Drop dose is like uh, yeah, that is what we give one pill in thirty ml, and then uh, take the patient or the patient to take twenty drops in hundred uh, ml of water. They add twenty drops of mud solution. From that, they take three spoons. If the repetition is every day, every day they will succeed. If the repetition of weekly ones depends upon the change of symptoms. So depending upon that, the dosage will be repeated with the next two succession, two succession up. Is it clear? Yes, sir. And another question, sir. Uh, yeah. Somebody has asked, can we start LM potency? in psychotic cases too yeah yeah we can start lm lm see the experience with my practice in lm means uh, it should be the similimum the similimum the medicine should be very right only then do you get the results very quick if it is very right medicine you can find the change in few hours even in chronic diseases compared to centesimal scales Centesimal, as it is a little cruder one, you get partial similimum also works well. Any any other questions? If there is any doubt or somewhere I have went past, means I can give some uh, explanation if it is anything is required. Okay, this is a very really short topic. Only. Alpha action. Lens. Alpha action. Uh, in uh, LM potency, is how to give an alpha action method? Usually, what we do is all alpha action. Uh, even in centesimals, we may not have a uh, solutions in the uh, dosage. <laughs> means in the liquid one, liquid form. So, usually, what we do, we take one pill uh, in few drops so, of alcohol. No. We dis yeah. dissolve the pill. add some spirit to that and then give all faction okay. if you have the potency directly can give but in lm it is not yeah, lm so lm will give, yeah we'll have to dissolve in water add some spirit to that and then put it in the cotton and take it 
Okay. Olfaction also we give it in the both the nose three times. Ask them to uh, in, inhale it. Shall we see some cases or any any anything else to clear? We'll go for cases, sir. Okay, okay. We'll see some cases. an acute case I think some of you might have seen these cases I haven't taken any new case different different old cases only I have taken because I just want to show the uh, different approaches to administering the drug it's a dysphenia patient The two to pain is uh, reacting like this. The mode of administering alpaction pain is relieved, patient is going. So this is a very short case, just to want to show the reaction of uh, alpha action. So hardly we had 10 minutes. This is spasmodic dysphoria. The pain was there since morning with the loose motions and nausea, vomiting. Patient is hot and thirsty. The reaction you have seen. So delirium, pains from, diarrhea during menses. So actually she was given chamomilla, one M, one dose olfaction. So hardly it took about 10 to 15 minutes. You can see this reaction. Usually we give it in like this spasmodic pains or in case of asthmatic bronchitis, in case of renal colic and uh, other colleagues also like uh, Galston colic and other things even fevers we give all pattern so we'll ask them to wait for another half an hour and then go so this is a case of hereditary spirocytosis eight year old boy so the mother died at the time of uh, delivery the patient is uh, had a severe jaundice and uh, he was diagnosed at the age of four years and with the speed uh, spleen and hepatomegaly 
So they have advised to go for surgery for uh, this um, birth defect. Uh, even mother had hereditary spirochetosis and uh, operated spinocnectomy was done. And she was advised not to go for second uh, conception, but which she overlooked and conceived and the uh, time of delivery, this boy, and she died. And now she was taken care by grandmother and grandparents. His father left him. He has one elder brother. The whole skin uh, is yellowish in color. When he came, the jaundice was about uh, eight uh, gram per year. And he used to have wheezing, recurrent attacks of fever, diarrhea, and vomiting. Every now and then, he used to be hospitalized for either wheezing or vomiting. So they were waiting at least till 12 years. We'll wait, postpone this spinectomy to avoid surgery. Because surgery also has so many other risks also. He was referred by a pediatrician. To me, he is my friend of uh, mine. So this, all these uh, cold things aggravates his wheezing. Uh, so recurrent attacks of wheezing every month. He gets about two to three episodes, and he used to be nebulized frequently, and he used to be better only by nebulization. His hemoglobin used to be very low, four to five grams. From birth, he had jaundice and wheezing, diarrhea, swelling, abdomen from birth. In 2014, he had chicken pox. Uh, grandfather is diabetic, grandmother is diabetic and CAD patient. Born by LSES, weight for 4.5 kg. Vaccinations were done. Speech by one and a half years, fluent. Teething by 10 months. It's very hot. Appetite is good in spite of jaundice. Cannot tolerate hunger. Causes headache. So many cravings also. Mm. Urine used to be very dark yellow. Sleeps in uh, toxin sleep. And salivation which is very offensive especially during sleep. The stool also is to be very offensive. Urine also is to be offensive. Nobody can enter this toilet for one or two years, two hours if he goes. It should be such offensive. Perspiration also is to be offensive. Mild visual difficulty is there, myopia like and used to wearing specs. And uh, history, I'll tell uh, in detail, we may not require, I'll just brief it. He's very good in studies, he used to get first rank, and he likes Max very well. Always gets 100, and he doesn't uh, uh, like to lose his rank. In spite of so much of illness and other things, uh, he doesn't like to lose his in illness. Which has such huge Sprino Magali, he's a, a state player in uh, skating and he has, he has been attending so many classes like uh, Hindi, skating, football coaching uh, and uh, almost five, six classes. The grandparents were very tired because grandmother is like his mother, but they cannot take him to so many classes, swimming. And he even goes for the state as well as national championship he wants to attend. Every uh, competition he wants to attend and he will get also. Because of this, the coach were very encouraging him to attend. <laughs> but uh, skating is so risky because with the Spino Magali, if it gets ruptured, the pediatrician is also a friend of them, but still he is not... Uh, uh, allowing their parents, grandparents, he was attending all the games he, and he used to attend for hockey, cricket, running race and um, other things also. 
even in uh, school level he is interested in com competitions of speech fancy dress dance no stage fear he used to attend karate swimming hindi tuition yoga tuition classes and skating and swimming and he was a competitor in swimming as well as skating and he used to watch tv also also watch cartoons movies very much obstinate doesn't budge so my grandmother is very tired not able to attend him and he shout and scream to her and well built uh, and wants to wear very neat shirt and pant doesn't like wearing half pant wants full pant uh but you should get fear of darkness more faith in god so this is the reports so we will not go in detail about uh, this one uh, in this see what is the totality so diligent and obedient but absolute artistic as well as uh, energetic so initially we prescribed veratrum not better natrum not better the case was reworked here we thought of there so much concern about uh, getting uh, appreciation and uh, getting this ranks in competitions school level state level as well as and other things we thought of we was worried position we was concerned about so despair of position which is again converted into higher level because we need a, uh, because we don't have history of mother's history because mother is no more and the parents were not knowing about any pregnancy history during her uh, this one so this psychosyphilis is converted into so insanity lack despair with about social position and delirium busy in spite of so much of illnesses he wants to be busy and energetic we took this as converting it and then one physical which is strong which is weak as offensive sulfur came so conscientious sulfur is sulf iodide sulf iodide again given one dose in three spoons uh, water dissolve it in 100 ml of uh, water and then take three spoons the next dose was repeated so this was given on 5 4 and then next dose was repeated again and 29 4 with the two succession and his jaundice all came down and uh, uh, wheezing also came down so after that in 8 uh, that was in the april we gave and in the uh august again the next dose was repeated with the four succession and then the next year repeated self iod one num one dose so this is the next year report normocytic and normochromic hematological report the bilirubin also came down to normal He is still there. He is attending. Even last year, he went for national to Assam. With so much of difficulty, the parents have taken him. We'll just see what is self iod. Self iod is all from SARS notes only. They have similar to iodum and halogens. Big guys. They have big guys. Everything is big. They wanted to be big, and they wanted everything is big. very fast extrovert capricious they are interested in science history geography electronics mechanics 
the items are diligent and conscientious but the items are restless fast hunger and hunger aggravates they walk talk eat fast when sulfide we think of conscientious sulfur right sided timid cowardice aversion to domestic duties awkward the favors reabsorption very sharp eyes and sparkling eyes here is he was very though he is uh, strong he want independent they go they'll be very independent they resolve themselves they don't like work at home but duties at home domestic duties aversion to and indifferent to domestic duties they neglect household works but they wanted always in the movement delirium fancies and illusions of thoughts persisting tormenting and wandering so they act on glands bones and joints and hemorrhagic tendencies induration of glands and mucous membranes and produces ulcers in mouth and mucous membranes have hysterical twitches excitements and convulsions one side is symptoms conscientious about trifles whenever we get sulfur which is very strong called sulfur the robust one is the slide is changing for you hello yes sir yes sir because uh, i have the, the this one we are not able to see that is why so here we thought of sulfur iod only with the bus two were not responding and sulfur was coming when very strong and uh, conscientious as well as very diligent we thought of sulfur iod so here also we repeated in the x2 succession the repetition also when there is a required totally three doses four doses 200 doses and one dose of sulfur one ml this is another case of subdural hematoma this is referred by uh, dr guhan and she was having a uh, symptoms of cva weakness in the right side and right lower limb on walking on hypertension but not on regular medication she used to go to gh regularly take tablets take for two days but then leave it and now she is as weakness of the talk is relevant for kids concentration is difficult Six uh, six months, she used to have pain in the occiput. She used to think that there was a because of that, that pain and giddiness while walking and this one. And known hypertension for more than ten to fifteen years. Two thousand seven or eight, she is hypertension, but not on the not so attached with uh, uh, childrens. attempted suicide in 1980 once by poisoning and after that when he used to be when there is a quarrel with the husband she used to have threatening like uh, 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 attempting for suicide as it is only mode of delivery the history is i just give in brief not studied in studies but uh, studied up to 10 standard uh, and got married to a relative and but as is uh, drunk initially used to care but then later on he became uh, uh, but he doesn't disturb him had three children and the first son is also drunkard and he used to have problems quarrels with the first son and she used to feel bad mm. 
and she, when she inquired about suicide she said i forgot the incident but i was angry with the husband the son came from bumba dubai and residing here but she was not helping her she was attached to father she doesn't care about son also whenever we were taking history she used to have confusion and answers irrelevant slow but forgets even i have to ask repeatedly questioner she used to get anger and shows in the face so the ct scan was said dead subdural collection in the left fronto parietal area and uh, right parietal area and which is blocking and she was advised for surgery it's a acute non chronic subdural hematoma left fronto parietal area and subacute in the right parietal area so this is the totality chilly thirstless non urgent memory weakness syphilis is suicidal anger at trifles confusion forgets the question as refuses to talk to with son alert during sleep indifference to her sufferings aversion to husband and sex so this is the indifference to loved ones answer slowly they just try so we thought of selecting sepia sepia was given as a olfaction when the two doses of olfaction was given one here and then the next day patient was advised to come after two weeks then speech and walking started improving so again the one dose was repeated one dose only once an external application in the right dorsum of hand so that was after 15 days she was asked to come she came alone this time on the next month of uh, july june so comfortably better advised to again one dose of external application cpi was given and ct was done in the august everything is normal now no oral dose olfaction and external application so this is also works well so we'll have to be selective about the doses and repetition mode of administering also as it is a neuroectoderm we went for olfaction and the external application so this is the last case this is a case of atopic dermatitis referred by a homeopathic doctor they were residing at bangalore with joints almost uh, whole body full of uh, eruptions and they were not able to give this room also slightest uh, warmthness causes so much has been under homeopathic medication allopathic medication all siddha uh, up top institutions they have gone since third month of age it started so the no body is left even in the face everything it is there so um, there was a hair loss in the eyebrows and eyelashes also so and extremely restless wants to be rubbed you ask the parents to rub slowly otherwise she will start uh, scratch and scream shout the slight as warm and the parents were almost sleepless for more than few years they were able to manage her so with so much of aggravation uh whenever when she gets angry she used to 
pick herself up, uh, induce herself. And uh, the only thing is rub, 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 rub. Or uh, she'll start scratching, scratch, even if it is bleeding. She used to scratch like anything or shout. So that was the only, they used to, at one day, one point of time, the parents have left every treatment and given only um, uh, moisturizing cream for her because everything is not giving any relief. Here also we couldn't get any history, especially in the history. That only thing which was available was husband was away from the mother, means uh, patient's mother, this one, mother. and uh, uh, But she said, I was not so much worried about that like that and all she was saying, but we are not able to get exactly the, uh, what is the history which was there for this. And so meticulous and long history is there. So initially she was going to her the home and not even showing to us. And uh, when she came into my cabin, uh, she first she asked me, what is your name? And uh, his father used to be very strict. So he, she doesn't like uh, his father as well as the grandfather because both used to be very strict. As she was suffering a lot, grandmother and mother used to be very lenient. But here they do, this father and grandfather used to be strict. So he doesn't like it. So hot, thirstless, sensitive to rude, artistic. But in spite of so much, when she is not well, she used to draw well and she used to do, listen to poems and other things, and even like to attend school. And very obstinate, reaching for his violin. And she, she did not sleep for two years. So that was the, which is very disturbing for us. And she used to strike. Whenever she gets anger, strike the head and shake in the shouts when angry. So, in spite of so many illnesses, still again wants to learn and wants to uh, draw all these things where uh, we thought of. Uh, contrary is a, like moving against the will that was the syphilis striking again that is a syphilis and thought persistent it is like a delirium so that was the three things which we took arsenic came so conscientious arsenic heart arsal flavum because this case actually for the more than two to four years the parents as well as the patient was suffering so we didn't want to take a risk because already they have taken homeopathic medicine had severe aggravation they were uh, almost on the verge of collapsing parents were so we here we didn't want to have any adverse reaction so we just gave one dose arsal flavum zero one one dose in a 30 ml this one 100 ml so this was the schedule which we have given every time only 100 ml was dissolved because of sensitivity we dissolved in higher water so first given one dose as she was started improving then we gave in a two succession zero two in two succession one dose and then again after two months fourth succession but this time little confident i was so we succeeded in a weekly dose so totally five dose was given and then again six, like that slowly, slowly, almost every uh, uh, month initially we gave with the two, two succession. Then slowly as the improvements started coming, we stopped it. We just go with the two, two succession up. It's very, at, uh, by uh, one year, all the lesions have stopped everything. But only when there is a small, small lesions comes in the leg, we just give one dose in two succession. Almost now after 2019, no dose was repeated. 
is on passive verb. This is a I think the audio, I think you may not be able to hear. No, no, sir, audio is coming? No, sir, it's not coming. Uh -huh. Make the audio available, sir, by stop, stopping the sharing and uh, share the content with audio and video monitoring. Oh. No, sir, volume, even if you raise volume, it will not be uh, able to hear. Hmm. Hear it, sir. We'll have to stop it and then again. No, you have to stop it, sir. Then uh, select share content. In that, you'll have an option there. Share with video and audio monitoring. No. Let's share with the audio. Hello, are able to listen? Are you coming? Hello? No audio. No audio, sir. No audio. You stop. Again, restart the sharing. While you do the restarting, enable the options audio and video. Yeah. Are you editing? No. Tell me about how uh, she faced the difficulties in the last uh, two, three years. And yeah. after uh, this is about uh, maybe, maybe in the, the 90s, we have taken, taken the, the video from, from the parents. They are far away, away so they come. come Every you, sir, sir, you mute the, uh, the laptop for audio. Otherwise, you will be able to hear. Yeah. This is about the father, he explains about the Thank you. This is only about the small uh, presentation about the delivery. So here we are exploring the other option other than the drive process, which we commonly use in practice. So one is olfaction and the ml drop process, 100 ml process, drop process. That, that can, can be speed, speed process. process. And I choose how much alpha is helping. So, the, the options, options in the LM, LM also can be used. used. Oh, you're going to me. I have muted my speaker also. One minute. No clear? No, no, it is clear. I have muted, sir. No problem. Yeah, now it is clear, sir. Uh, 
ככה... Hello? Yes, sir, audible. Yes, yes, sir. We can cases, sorry, yes, yes. Even other cases, when we are very sure about medicine, only then we go for LM potencies. Acutes, we use it when we Acutes, we give it in 100 ml, or the patient to take it. Success, 100 ml, we give. Yeah, very next dose they will suck us it two times and then take one spoon. Okay, again they dissolve it water and take it. Yellam initially we give it for there is a question, repeat the yellam potency when going higher, time duration again. The question which has been asked. So that is what I said earlier. Usually give a test dose of few doses initially and then wait for symptoms to reappear or going to the next level, lower level. So it should be it will be in the pattern of sixth day, seventh day, fourteenth day. The symptoms will reappear. Initially patient will be better after the dose. So again the symptoms will come back. Find out that gap how many days back again, again they're getting in the symptom. So this is the, the dose we have to repeat it. So if they get back the symptom or if they get the lower layer in the uh, seventh day or fourteenth day, repeat the dose. See, even in LM, it is not necessary you should repeat it every day. It should be repeated if necessary. Anyone gives a caution. The last case also we repeated. Even sometimes we have repeated even after a year. Sir, there is one more uh, school of thought. Uh, no. they, told, they give LM every day. So uh, we have to see that uh, Kent's uh, observation ulta. That is initial aggravation, amelioration. Then, when the yeah. dose, uh, then the aggravation will start when you give an LM. That time you start the medicine. Is it right? Yeah, yeah. See, so, Hanuman gives about uh, this end aggravation in the aphorism. I forgot the number also. When you give the LM potency, the aggravation comes in, in the end. That is what they say about the end aggravation. The end aggravation will be like soaring symptoms. When you treat about syphilitic or uh, psychosyphilitic or psychosis, you get the lower layer symptoms very frequently of respiratory or skin illnesses very frequently. So that is the end aggravation will be there. Anyone, aphorism, he explicitly says about 
the end of the division in one of policy. So that is about the LM policy. Sixth edition is only for the LM policy. You see the fifth and sixth are even different. Now we will find the activation will be in the end. In one of policy, what it says. I hope this is clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, in any given case, can we use LM potency, sir? Or in case sensitives? Hello? Sir, audio is here. Sir, now? Can you type it? Sir, I have, uh, I have typed it, sir. In any given case, can we use LM potency, sir? Or in case sensitives? Yeah, in a, not in, in any given case. LM first criteria which I usually think is that it should be the simulimum. There should not be a single thought about partial simulimum. And when, there, when you find the person is very sensitive and the skin affections are very severe or so the psoriasis, all this when you find that patient will not uh, tolerate any aggravations. Then we thought about LM potencies. Acutes we give, fevers and acute, all, all acutes usually we give. By six to eight doses, they'll be better. So visually we ask them to take it two to succession up, six or eight doses, and then report on next day through four. Usually we give it for three or five days yourself with one bottle of 100 ml. Take one pill of medicine, dissolve it 100 ml water, add 10 to 20 drops of alcohol for preservation. And give the patient, ask him to take it first dose directly and then suckers it every two times, two suckers it. So they will take it six or eight doses. All faction, yeah, we give it in. We put it in the cotton and give it for local patients. Other patients will give it in the 3ml dropper, cotton also. So they'll unpack it and take it. Repetition of LM potency is same. Everything I have to explain. See, wait for the symptom to reappear or see the change in layer by hearing slot. So when there is improvement, you wait, don't repeat. Then see the change. If you after the waiting for it, if you don't find any change, keep doses. So whether you see the change in layer, suppose patient has a higher layer, then coming to the next next layer, down the layer, they will see. Hello. Thank you so much for patient listening. Are there any questions, please? Sir. Sir. So I hope nobody has any questions. Thank you. Thank you so much for your patient listening. On behalf of all the participants. Thank you, Madam Minister, and Vice Doctors for your valuable support. Thank you, sir. Thank Hello, you, sir. sir. David, let me speak also. So, this is the book. I don't know whether you are able to see. This is Homeopathic Property here by David Lindell. It's a six volume book. Beautiful book. The entire realm of potencies and all the Hanimax works have been. Directly translated from German. So this gives a clear idea about all the editions, all the metamedical abuse, all the chronic diseases volumes. When you have Sunday, that, Krishna. Please go through and see this. This is a book. Vipati Comedy Yam. Entire everything, LM potency, you will not have any doubt. Even this other uh, book also, 
Uh, I don't have it here. Anyway, thank you for listening. 